back here in the front. There's right way out here. You can't see it very well. There it goes. See that? See that? Um, that is your olfactory bulb. Okay? Where's that? Right up front, way on the frontal lobe. Let me try and get behind your cranial nerve here. Okay, so that's cranial nerve number one, your olfactory bulb. And see how this is like a V, part of a V? The other half is on theirs. Okay, this is your optic nerve, cranial nerve number two, right? And those are the two you have to know on the dissection it said. Okay, so then. If you have it laying like this, and there's a pin up front here, and it says name the lobe, it would be what? Frontal lobe? Frontal, because your spinal cord comes down your back. Okay? Then over here, this is cerebellum. Okay? This is your cerebellum back here. All right? If they were to stick it on the other side, they're going to be asking for your arbor vitae. Okay? So back here, they stick it there, it's cerebellum. Okay. Now, flip it over. They're going to have, see this um, area right up here? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's your corpus callosum. Okay. Then underneath it, it see if you kind of, you can kind of, broke it. Dang it. Okay. See that membrane? See how it's sitting sideways? That's your septum pellucidium, the membrane there that covers the lateral ventricle. Okay? You said sitting sideways. It's sitting sideways would be septum pellucidium because it's the little membrane that covers it. Okay. Now, see where I punctured it here. This down in here, now that you've seen that, ooh, that's your lateral ventricle. So if it's sitting up and down, they want lateral ventricle. Okay? Um, okay. Nice round thing, your thalamus, okay? Down here is hypothalamus. And in this is your optic chiasma where you cut your optic nerves right there at the bottom of the V in half. This is your optic chiasma. Then right back here, this little guy sticking right there is your pineal gland. Uh-huh. All right. Your pituitary. Okay. It's big. And then you got your brain stem, which consists of your midbrain, your pons, which comes right behind the pituitary, and it's not nearly as big a bulge as it shows in any picture or book. Okay? That's pons. This is your medulla oblongata. And see down here at the very end, you've got that central canal going on. That's your spinal cord. Okay? Now, Right here, you'll see there's, there's a, this is a cerebral aqueduct, okay? Midbrain is here. And above the cerebral aqueduct, this area back here is called the corpora quadremina. Okay? Make sure you know that. Okay, then, so that would be on the test? Is that how that yeah. plays out? Then you come down, the cerebral aqueduct comes down to your fourth ventricle, which I think of it as like watering the tree, because, you know, this is where cerebral spinal fluid is going. Right here at the base of the tree, this is your fourth ventricle. They put it in the tree, they want arbor vitae. Okay? So all of those things are fair game. Frontal lobe, cerebellum, arbor vitae, corpus callosum, the septum pellucidium, which would be sideways, lateral ventricle, cerebral aqueduct, fourth ventricle, and then you've got to know midbrain, pons, medulla oblongata, pituitary, optic chiasma, pineal gland, thalamus. Okay? Is that good? And then, then there will be a pile of this. And they'll ask you, and you have to write Dura Mater. Okay?